On the IP150, one side you've got your RJ45 connector, that's for your LAN cable connection. On the other side you've got two connections here. Now, the cable that comes with the module has got two sides, so one with a small plug and one with a bigger plug like this. So looking at it, you're going to use the panel connection. Select a small, small socket and you're going to plug it in right in there. But you must make sure that it, that it goes in firmly and deep enough or else it will make a problem connection. So it must go in deep. On the metal box, you can grab one. On the inside, when your panel is connected here, it will fit in like, like this. So your, your, your network cable will come through your, one of the sockets that you've punched out, one of the tabs, and you will be plugged into the LAN side, and the other side of the cable, it will, yeah, will connect to your serial port. So it's plugged in, and connected to the serial port in. Next is you connect your LAN cable. It will tell you what is happening on your device here. So once it's connected you're gonna go to and work with the software. On babyware I still got my test account here, so but here the connection option I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna select this block here and I'm gonna tell it that is an IP static connection and then from here you can search it like this and double click it automatically it will be detected and you can go okay from here. The IP module password on default is paradox. Small letters cable is connected on a CD that we provide to have your IP module there's a Paradox IP Locate program on it. Once you double click it automatically it will find your module straight away. Now you'll notice that I'm using a direct connection to my LAN but your module is DHCP so it will assign it within your IP address automatically. But here we need to change the IP address but it will not work properly if it's like this. Um, you right click on it, you go module setup and then here you can change port numbers, IP address and so on. So I'm going to disable DHCP on a module and I'm going to specify my IP address. Let's make it 5 and let's make that 255. And you need him to put in the, the module password, that's paradox. Small letters and just give it a second top two and then go again find it. Speed some more time. I'm gonna unplug the module actually so that it resets the port. So it's plugged in and out.
down. And also, of course, because I've co connected it with a static ID, and I've plugged it directly into the PCs, RJ, into the PCs network port, I have to set the connection to a static as well. But this does not, that's not required, because if you're using DXCP on your network, using a router, it will automatically assign the IP address to that port. So if you plug it directly into your laptop, you need to specify IP address on your laptop before it will work correctly. So let's just close all those tabs here. Um, close this one. We're going to go to Babyware. And we're going to specify where it's connected. So on the IP, we're going to search it. Double click it there. Um, the module password again is Paradox and you can go OK and you can connect to your system and then it will show your progress as well again we want to read the panel programming too by the way we go OK if you find that you're not using some of these modules here and it's in your system and you need to remove it, you need to disconnect here, go into programming and enter location 955 to module scan and remove old modules and that's all you need to do. So for one re other reason your keypad is showing missing modules that usually happens when you disconnect a module or replace the module. It will show you when a troubles missing modules. To clear that error, you can go into programming, enter section 955. It will scan all the modules on your system and removing modules that's not scannable. It will take a few seconds and it will exit programming automatically.